Hello, we are discussing about GATE 2007 ECE paper. The open loop transfer function of a plant is given as 1 by S square minus 1. If the plant is operated in a unity feedback configuration, then the lead compensator that can stabilize this control system is. Okay. Now look at this one. G of S is given as G of S. You can write it as 1 by S square minus 1 can be written as S square minus 1 square that is A square minus B square formula. We can write it as S plus 1 into S minus 1. So open loop transfer function consisting of a pole on right half S plane. Okay. This is S minus 1 is a pole present at plus 1. So that is a pole is present on right half of S plane. So open loop transfer function is unstable. You can make this open loop transfer function into stable by considering closure loop along with a lead compensator. By using a lead compensator and the function has to be used in a unity negative feedback. So you can make it as stable system and by that time what must be the which lead compensator transfer function will give the system stability. Will make the system stable. So if you are using lead compensator at that time lead compensator is treated as GC of S for example lead compensator transfer function GC of S and this is open loop transfer function G of S and it is output and it will be used in unity negative feedback system. So this is what the now the closed loop system is looks like this one it consisting of unity feedback that is H of S is equal to 1 and this is a lead compensator transfer function and it is given open loop transfer function okay, without compensator. Now open loop transfer function open loop transfer function of modified system that is this one can be written as G of S into G C of S okay. and if you choose this open loop transfer function is going to be stable that is all the poles of this open loop transfer function are on left half of S plane then uh, definitely the closed loop transfer function will also be stable. If you assume, if you are going to make sure open loop transfer function is stable that is all the poles of open loop transfer function are lie on left half of S plane then automatically closed loop transfer function will also be stable. Okay. So simply you are multiplying given transfer function of compensator with G of S. So which will give all the poles on left half of S plane that is going to be the right answer. So now you see B if you are checking it you are multiplying with 1 by S plus 1 into S minus 1. So definitely S minus 1 will remain it is not getting cancelled. Here also S minus 1 remains it is not getting cancelled. Here also you will get the S minus 1 term in the denominator it is not getting cancelled. But whenever you are multiplying for A this is 1 by S plus 1 into S minus 1 S minus 1 S minus 1 get cancelled. Open loop transfer function for option A will become like 10 by S plus 1 into S plus 2. It doesn't consisting of no pole on right half of S plane on right half of S plane which means open loop transfer function is stable that makes sure closed loop transfer function or closed loop system closed loop system to be stable. So only option A if you choose the lead compensator transfer function as 10 into S minus 1 by S plus 2 then the system will be stable otherwise for all other options of BCD the system is still unstable because that consisting of one right of plane pole. Okay. So the right option for this question is A.